Hi guys, for those of you that watch my channel on a regular basis, you'll know that a couple of months ago I did an unboxing, albeit a short one, on these Fox FX9 reels and I mentioned that once I'd had them for a while and put them through the paces that I would do an in-depth review. So yeah, this is it right now. So um, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at this beauty and uh, I'll show you what I like about it and on the other hand what i don't like about it which isn't much by the way um but yeah just bear in mind guys that, um when you look at a review or at least when you actually do a review i think it's it's um it's probably good practice to to take into account the price of the said product regardless of whether it's a real or well anything that you might purchase and uh, and yeah, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's start with the basics, or in my mind, the basics is the balance of the reel and how the handle turns in conjunction with the balance of the bail arm and the spool now it's silky smooth it's got slow oscillation and the line lay for the price point is really impressive secondly the Bail arm, bail arm flick over, sorry, is excellent. It's got a lovely positive feel to it. There's no lag or judder as it flicks back. The anti reverse is instant, no play whatsoever. On cheaper reels, you'll find that if you put the force forward, and then you stop it and try to bring the arm backwards you'll find there's a little bit of play but there's none of that there whatsoever um, the drag you basically go from locked up so it's one two and you're into almost free running territory there with that spool another one and then it's extremely easy to to turn that so one two three is locked up and one two three is almost super free spool not great terminology i know um Another thing I like about the reel is the fact that it's got two line clips. Don't know whether you can see that. You've got a black one there and a metallic one there, which is handy. Um, I'm going to do some super close ups shortly, so I'll show you those in some detail. Okay, so I've mentioned the positives. Now I'm going to mention one slight negative. Now, this bail arm isn't quite finished right. Whether it's a manufacturing issue um, with the paint, but you'll see, well, I'm hoping you can pick up on this, guys, but you'll see that the paintwork here is brilliant. It's nigh on perfect but then as you move around the bail arm it's almost well you can feel it gets a little bit rough there not rough that it's going to damage your line but you can just feel it as an imperfection in the paint but like i say i'm being um ultra ultra picky now i suppose um so that's that you can see the fox decal there or i'm hoping you can see it there's also one at the top of the stem, which is a nice touch. 
Got the model at the front. And another nice touch is that flat spot there. So you give a few turns of that. And it sits nicely in place. Another few turns of the reel. And there you go. So what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to measure from the front of the spool to the rear of the body and from bottom to top I'll measure that and I'm also going to weigh it so let's have a look at that okay so that's 15 centimeters from the front of the spool to the rear of the body so from the bottom of there to the top the real stem is 14 centimeters from there to there. There you go, so that's 591 grams with the line on. Um, so yeah guys, as you know, tried to give a, a good honest opinion, uh, completely unbiased. I tried to delve into anything that I can think that you might want to know. So if there is anything else, um, just drop it in the comments below and um, I'll do my best to um, answer you. Uh, yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.